Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, we're going to do more of a series of these cat and mouse videos as us being the cat to give you folks an idea of what's it like on the other side of that radar detector that is in the patrol vehicle trying to get you and your speed. So what we've done is I've created a, went out and did a lot of different types of uh, setups on traps that, you know, as a driver we all see. And uh, it's going to be really interesting uh, what, you, what we find here. You're going to get the whole picture as to what's going on on the radar detector side, but now you're going to see what it's like on the other side of the radar gun or laser gun. And then you're going to get a better picture overall of what's actually going in these different scenarios. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate that. We'll have more of this unique content out there. I don't think you're going to find it anywhere else on the internet. Uh, you can join us on Facebook. You can find us on Facebook, uh, Radar Busters Online. Uh, Twitter as well, Radar Busters. And we'd love to engage with you if you have any questions or if you'd like to see any additional tests. Uh, we'd be happy to do that. Let's get to it and let's have some fun. constant on here. Control speed's about 65. All right. Coming at me at 61. So we're going to run this in constant mode. And you'll get an idea of what it's like when these guys cruise. And we'll also get an idea when they can get a speed at from what distance we can help you understand on the other side of this radar detector. There you go. Even if he's uh, transmitting, you may be able to uh, outbreak it. No speed indicated here. There we go, 63 coming around the bend. I'm going about 60. There's the white car that's coming our way. nothing. Thirty-two, there's the car turning. All right, let's see when we pick these other cars up. There we go. See, now that we got a break in the car, it should drop off. Yeah, we're tracking that other vehicle already. Let's see when we get the other one when he crests there, getting there. 67, 68, there he is. We let the other one go. Okay, uh, so there you have it. Constant on radar and patrol mode, or what we call moving mode. You can get an idea of uh, the distances, at least particularly with this uh, custom Raptor RP-1 when uh, vehicles were in the capture range uh, when they're coming and making the approach. So hopefully that gives you some information uh, on the other side of your radar detector uh, and give you an opportunity to potentially know how quickly you need or how far 
you potentially can outbreak a constant on radar if it's like coming around a curve, as you saw one of those examples uh, where another vehicle is sort of in the way, can't get your speed, you do have a little bit of time. So. A pretty significant range reduction relative to the stationary tests that we conducted with the custom Raptor RP1 with the K-Ban antenna. Uh, when we were doing stationary with the vehicles approaching us, we were getting vehicles targeting as far as uh, 4,000 feet uh, for a white pickup truck to 2,700 feet uh, for a, like a gray or darker SUV that has more of a sloped hood and uh, versus the what we calculated with combined closure, about seven seconds of combined closure in the patrol mode uh, that suggested a 1,200 foot uh, uh, distance before speed could be uh, captured from the two vehicles. So that tells you something. That's a 55 to 70 percent reduction in uh, detection range for the radar gun. Uh, and that's good news potentially for a radar detector user. So I uh, hope you enjoyed these uh, video uh, encounters that we did today. And uh, we'll have more coming your way. So thanks for watching. Take care.